Dr. Travis Storick, obviously, um, the author of The Lose Your Belly Diet. Um, so what's wrong with our bellies? <laughs> <laughs> I th it seems like the obvious place to start, but, um, but why maybe is it not so obvious? Well, a lot of people, when they think about their bellies, they think purely in terms of weight, which is important. But this book takes it a step beyond that and actually talks a little bit about your true belly, what's going on in your gut, how we can modify it and change it. Yes, how you can lose weight, but more importantly, why you need to lose weight the right way and how in so doing and, and quite frankly changing your gut, not only on the outside, but changing it on the inside. And it, and it does take people on a journey because I use things in terms like gut microbiome, <laughs> Talk it's like the new gut hashtag, gut, gut microbiome. It is. <laughs> I it don't is. know. Actually, I it looked it up on like Twitter and see if there's an actual <laughs> hashtag for that. But yeah, it's a you new You might thing. be starting it, yeah. So a lot of folks don't know about it. A lot of doctors are just beginning to learn about the impact of our gut microbiome on our health and our weight. And it's, it's just a really interesting connection that when I went to medical school, we didn't know anything about it. It wasn't until we had the ability to do gene sequencing that all of a sudden we realized, wait a minute, we have potentially 100 trillion bacteria living in our guts, weigh up to six pounds, doing all these little tasks, beneficial bacteria, doing all these little tasks. And maybe, just maybe, the reason that people are dealing with the obesity crisis or dealing with illnesses, it may not just be the fact that, hey, we're putting on weight collectively as a country, but we've potentially been destroying all these good bacteria with our, our modern lifestyle. And so the book touches upon sort of the, the science behind it, but more importantly, the things you can do every day and the way you eat and live to replenish the gut bacteria and hopefully in, in so doing, be healthier and obviously lose weight. In a nutshell, there's two key themes here. Mm -hmm. Probiotics are foods that we eat that are beneficial bacteria. So we're actually replenishing bacteria when we eat things like yogurt, kefir, fermented sauerkraut. Fiber, we call that prebiotics in the book and, and in science, that is actually the food for your bacteria that reside in your gut. So all summer long, I started, well, and, and luckily I was eating healthy before, but I focused on adding more of these fiber, fibrous foods at least once or twice a day eating a probiotic rich meal and it's remarkable how even in my own research and people who've tried this diet it's remarkable the energy and obviously there's a lot less bloating um, there's just a lot of things that happen that are that are above and beyond just weight you just touched on some of the benefits but if maybe like maybe the top five benefits that you have seen by doing this particular um, lifestyle, what, what would you say those are? So number one would be weight loss. Mm -hmm. Because interestingly, as you feed your gut these, these foods that do fill you up, but these high fiber foods, and I'm not just talking about twigs and berries, there's actual real food and, and, and swaps I can explain to you in a minute, but you feel fuller, but you actually, interestingly, lose weight. And so it's that, it's that bizarre, you're full, but you're losing weight in a good way. Number two, because of the foods that I introduced in here, yeah, you're replenishing your microbiome, but one of the things that's so important is regularity when it comes to using the restroom. A highly overlooked thing. Your digestion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you know how many people end up in the ER? I'm an ER doc. Oh. Especially as life goes on for... It seems silly to talk about it, but for things like constipation and difficulty being regular, it's amazing how once someone's regular, they feel better. And when you're more regular, interestingly, you lose a lot of that bloat. So you're more regular, you lose a lot of the bloat. And then the other big things is more energy because what you avoid is a lot of our modern diet gives you these blood sugar spikes followed by a trough. And ener your energy does this all day long. The only way you can get up is maybe you drink a soda or an energy drink. It gives you an artificial buzz for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then you come down from it. So stabilizing your energy levels, which then, of course, improves your mood. And those are five. But then, then of course, your mood's better. Mm -hmm. You're more likely to go for a walk with your spouse. Your relationships end up better. 
You're more active during the day. You lay down, put your head on the pillow at night, and kind of sleep. Yeah. So I, I think that it's it's that creating what I call a virtuous cycle of good health. And look, if the motivation is to lose weight, I understand human behavior. That's the tool. You know, use that as your motivation. But when it's all said and done, I hope that people say, "Well, I'm sleeping better. I feel better." I'm having better sex. I'm having, and that's the whole <laughs> yeah. idea. I, I lowered my risk for heart disease and diabetes and, believe it or not, even cancer and things like that. Oh.